What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Railway Empire. I'm your host, the Bergman Otis Falcon. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys for me to check this out. Now, this isn't released until January 28th, roughly around that time, so I do have early access to the game, so I figure we'd probably take it out for a spin over here, and if something you guys want to see more of in the channel, I could indeed do that. Otherwise, kind of use the video as a referendum, whether it's something you want to pick up for yourselves or not. I happen to be a big sucker for these railroad simulation tycoon games, and I'm hearing pretty good things about Railway Empire right now, so I figure we find out what it's all about and take it out for a spin here together. So let's go into the campaign. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Okay, cool. So Both I'm cities good. will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to building construction mode. A train station over from, or connection from Omaha to Norfolk. All right, I could do that. Come up here to building construction and train station. Perfect. I guess we don't need a big one. It is going to be just Norfolk. So I don't think you have to really have a really huge one for that. Um, let's see. I guess we'll just connect you. How do I play this out? Somewhere through here. Uh, let's give it a rotation right about there. Sounds good to me. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Which is up here. Gotcha. Alright, can I can I get rid of this for a second? I want to see if I can rotate over here. I'm digging this right over here. So every wherever you put down your station, it'll terraform into the city itself. So you can kind of like um I guess shape the city how you want it to look. I'm digging that. See people over here just waiting. Ah, goddamn train is even in service. What are you guys doing waiting there? Hasn't even opened up yet. Alright, so track now construction. Plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then pay for your track planning. I'm noticing this is one of those games where the AI talks a lot, huh? Oh god, I hate that. You keep interrupting me and I don't want to talk over you because I don't like doing that. So I guess we'll connect that from there to there. I guess all we need is like a nice little smooth arch like that. Cool. And finalize it. Now create your first train so that you can set up a rail line between your stations. All right, first and foremost, let me find out about this track over here. Let me give it the inspection. You know, I, I like to have a quality railroad track if you don't mind, Thomas Durant. Didn't you have to go to, like, a meeting in Washington, too? Why are you still here? Initially, your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Oh, a <laughs> locomotive, all right, huh? Yeah, sure. And we're going to go with the Philadelphia one. Absolutely, it's the only one available, so let's do it. Additionally, each train needs a rail line that passes through all the stations it should stop at. Okay, so we're setting up the connection points, right? Alright, so set up rail line. Now join your two stations to the rail line by selecting them one after the other. I'm just gonna stop talking for now. I'll let him take over the entire video. Alright, so we're going from... Omaha. Over to... Norfolk. That's enough for your first rail line. Now confirm it so it becomes active. Very good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If there is something to transport, the train will automatically take it. Uh, do we have transports? Apparently we do. What are we big? Oh my god, we're, we're carrying a bunch of meat. So apparently Omaha is really big in the meat industry. What about Norfolk? What does Norfolk bring into the field However, here? as each locomotive needs water, sand, and lubricant on its journey, you have to place a supply tower along the route. Norfolk produces beer. I like Norfolk a lot already. So we need, apparently, a... What is it? <laughs> Lubrication for our journey, yeah. You're in the wrong business here, Thomas Ryan, let me tell you. So let's go over here and do the supply tower to give him the old lubrication. I guess he wanted down here, right? Very good. The train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Do they? Do Look, they really? There is a corn farm near Omaha. 
Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way, but we want to change that. So you want a train station down there, don't you? Now that construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. What'd I tell you? So he wants the corn to be traveling on the train station path as well. I got you, buddy. Some small train station, okay. And let's see, let's rotate this down towards there. Get you into radius, I guess. There you go. So that's a connection point right there, and I guess we'll do something like... That's fine. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. <laughs> I love the way he says Omaha. Omaha. So we'll connect that over here to Omaha. There you go, buddy. Oh, sorry, I gotta... Right, it's it's kind of like a little bit weird because you always have to confirm it over here, but there you go. And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Yeah, like train crashes. So we need a second Since track. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. First, create a sidetrack. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Alrighty, so they want me to go ahead and connect them, so or at least split the path up. So let's go into track construction. There you go. And then we'll do split. And we'll go up to here, and then we'll parallel this bad boy up down to here perhaps and then we'll connect it back there that seems pretty good excellent however your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack as they generally always take the shortest route for this reason you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track okay so we'll set up the stop through here i believe right excellent now do the same on the parallel track, so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area, and block the track to trains coming from the opposite direction. Construct. Very good. I'm sure that wasn't at all easy. You will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. Set up the rail line, I guess. And we'll select... Evans Farm to Omaha, to apparently Norfolk and back. That seems to be it, right? Excellent. The corn farm will automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and expand the station with this building. All right. So, we're going to train station, Omaha, and we'll give them the construct the maintenance building. Boom. $80,000 reduce. Let's make it happen. It's uh, Thomas Durant money, so it's fine from me. Right. We've been lollygagging for long enough. I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Do not disappoint me. All right, good. Off you go. I can finally play now, huh? That was the you know, kind of a very verbal, very, very wordy tutorial. So let's go and check out these um, tasks over here. Um, 1864. We had to complete that before that, right? So connect Omaha and North Plate. 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 And also connect Omaha to Cheyenne. So Omaha to North Plate and Cheyenne, right? Let's see. So Omaha's gonna be over here, obviously. And then, let's see... Here's Nord Plate and Cheyenne. I believe I saw it somewhere over here, right? So technically speaking, what I could do is just set up a train station here. The train station in Nord Plate. Plate? Plate? It's gotta be some sort of different way to pronounce it, I'm sure. I'm butchering it right now. Uh, we could do like one straight up um, railroad system from here, so... Technically, Omaha to here, and then from here to there, and that'll be like one train station covering all that ground, right? So let's go into... Uh, let's do a small one. Small train station. We have to do this before 1864 as well. So... Let's have you run... Maybe outside of the city itself. We could do something like this, right? Okay. That's actually really good. I like that. 
And then we'll connect here to there. So, oh, no, no, let's give Cheyenne a train station unless he already has one. Cheyenne, do you got a train station, Cheyenne? Ah, uh, yo, no, you don't. All right. So you're facing this way, so technically speaking, it doesn't have to necessarily face that way, but it'll make it a lot easier for me if it does. So we could have, like, one straight line to Cheyenne. Let's build this somewhere in between. Give me a small little rotation if you don't mind. Eh, that'll kind of do it. Let's face the other way, though. That's good. The City Council of Cheyenne is refusing permission to build a station as you haven't connected. Oh, <laughs> but we're, we're trying to do that. I'm just jumping one step ahead. All right, fine. Fine, Cheyenne. I see how it is. That's the game we're playing, is it? That's a big old arch right there. But it's fine. It works out. So we connected right over through here. And... Pan. Good. That's finished. You're making progress. I thought you were gone already. Go away. Stop showing up and keeping an eye on what I'm doing. Although, ooh, I can build stuff as well. How about that? Yeah, I can make some business and money off of this. I give him attraction of some kind. A university. I probably shouldn't be spending that much money until I get this connection happening, so I'll come back to that building here pretty soon. So now that Nordplate's ready to go, let's go off and build ourselves the Cheyenne connection. So we need a, another one of these. And let me go back to what I originally wanted to do, which was that. Perfect. And now, construction from North Plate over to Cheyenne. And that should be a, st a straight direct line, right? A couple of incline here and there. It's under 1%, which is fine. Uh-huh. Got it. Those politicians in Washington get on one's nerves. But now let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection, but a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Cities receive basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places and establish rail lines, your trains will be used to transport goods and you will make profits for transportation. But for this, you have to know what goods a city actually needs. So let's come over here and do, let's find out if we can do the big one. Building construction. Oh. Oh no, it's not. It's not big enough. It's not, oh Louis, large. What about the large one? There we go, baby. I told you guys. So the large one can actually connect both of them at once, which would make it a lot easier. And then this will just do a straight up connection to Cheyenne. And we're fine. We're golden. Although it's going to be a weird little curvature happening over here, but that's fine. So what I'll do is let's make it down this way so I can kind of like curve it down from that side, right? Okay. Really big old train station just for transporting goods, but hey, it is what it is. We got four tracks for this bad boy too. So let's go over here to construction and connection. At least we'll have different tracks if we want to move some of the wood and wheat off to other cities as well. So, oh my god, you're going through that mountain area right there too, huh? All right. That's fine. So does it cost me more money to do that? Oh, it probably is. Actually, it costs you a lot more money to go through there, huh? Not really. But... Yeah, I want through here. Ooh, uh, whatever. It's his money. <laughs> Look, we have elevation over there, too. Yeah, go for that one. Well done. The city will soon grow. You can see how well it is being supplied at any time in the city dialogue. Basically, a city will grow once its demands are sufficiently met. I think you have learned enough. Complete the rest of your tasks. There's one of my trains right now heading off over to Nordfolk. And then we'll do the connection over through there. There's no speed up function, is, is there? Oh, there is. Okay. And then we have the pause over here. Is that how fast you go? Yeah, so we have like two times speed and then the regular speed itself. All right, let's go back to the task over here. What else is there left over to do? 1866 is the next deadline. Optional task. Deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver and then deliver 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne. I mean, if we get cattle, we might also get meat out of that too. So, 16 loads of cattle to Denver. Now, Denver, Colorado is going to be down over here. And luckily for us, there is a cattle farm right over through this side right here. And the meat should be kind of like taken care of by our connection to Omaha, right? Which is the really big meat country. So yeah, I think that'll work out. So Cheyenne, 
we need a connection, actually Denver connection to you, right? So let's do, I guess a small train station for this one would be fine. I don't think I have to go too crazy for this here, so do that. Although Denver doesn't have any connections up there just yet either, right? So we're, you're going to need a track for you first, it does seem. Um, That'll work, sure. I guess we'll build you through there. And then we'll set up one through here, hopefully not curving too much, so maybe something like... Something like that should be fairly straight and easy. And then track construction. You're paused at the moment, right? Yeah. And then we'll connect you like so. Perfect. All right, so I believe now we should probably add the locomotive for this connection over here since this is not connecting everything up there. It's kind of like off by its own, doing its own thing. So we add a locomotive. Cost me 36500 Buy it. And... Close it off, and we'll set up the rail line from Denver off to the Kelly Ranch. What about 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne? Hey, look at that. North Plate has grown. Very good. 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne. Now, Cheyenne does have a connection over here already. Cheyenne's growing too. There we go. Everybody's growing now. That's what I want to see. Very good. Now for Cheyenne, 16 loads of meat. We technically should be moving some from Omaha though, am I right? Because Omaha is like the really big meat production area over here. Yeah. And of course, this is taking a while because locomotive's slow due to missing equipment. That's no good, dude. Go get yourself um, checked out somewhere. I guess we could probably get a check out as well over in... Not that one, but maybe over in Cheyenne. Let's do construction. Yeah. Give them some maintenance over here in Cheyenne as well. Well done. The citizens of Denver are impressed by the railroad. Ah, uh, yes. One more thing. Your company has also a research department to help you unlock new locomotives and other innovations. Open the research dialog to find out more about it. Oh, research. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. So we did get half of the load <laughs> to Cheyenne. So Cheyenne's got meat going to be coming in before 1867. Absolutely. We got like four years to go still. That's going to work itself just fine. Then connect 150 people to your railroad network. For that one, cities need to grow and we need to start connecting more. So, so we can even do a connection from Denver up to Cheyenne if we want to. Not that I'm not sure if... Do you guys need cattle by any, by any chance? Because Denver can hook you up. There's no demand for cattle. Never mind then. Here you will find the advances that can be achieved in the current era. Advances from previous eras are usually already active, but what the future holds, we do not know. For each advance, you require innovation points, which you get automatically each month, and which can be increased in various ways. Now take a look around here, and then unlock an innovation of your choosing. How about a new locomotive? Oh, <laughs> you'd like a, a new locomotive, wouldn't you? Um, alright, so let's see. 1850 onward. Excellent. Cheyenne is becoming a major railroad hub, and the credit is all ours. Uh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> let's go. I don't think we can do that one just yet, so we'll do the dragon instead. Plus it'll be for freight, which is what we're moving right now, so that's fine. My opponents say I'm lining my own pockets. These are, of course, hideous lies. And look at it this way. With the profits I'm making, I can invest much more. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Okay. Yeah, whatever you say, Duran. So I have to wrangle with a lot of competitors. But if one person really gets on my nerves, then it's that Beatrix von Pomp. What? You haven't encountered it yet. Be glad. She takes everyone to the cleaners. Okay. Uh, connect Omaha and Rock Springs, right? And then Cheyenne should get the meet eventually there. And as you can see, we're getting more people connected, which is fine. And even this connection alone should help us out with that. So connect Omaha to Rock Springs. Now, where in the world is old Rock? Oh, wow. That's, that's, I mean, it's kind of like really tucked away in there. But since we do have the connection to Cheyenne, we might, with any luck, be able to kind of run through there. And we could also use that to pick up 
apparently bricks it does seem, huh? And, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll use you later, dragon. We'll use you later. Okay, so let's go with, uh... Is my trains over here? Yeah, I got you. Alrighty, um, let's do the... Con let's see if we can do the connection from Cheyenne to Rock Springs, and that could do my task right there alone. Let's start off by... We have 404,000, very good. Build construction. I think we need something too major for Rock Springs, right? So we'll do something smaller. Now, how do I want to make this happen? Cheyenne. Can I... I hope I could just go through straight up here. If I can, that'll be very easy. Otherwise, we probably have to go around. So... Oh, you want a connection to Denver first? Well, I guess what I could do, maybe... Oh, boy. To Denver. Hmm. Well, I guess we could just probably split this bad boy up through here to connect up to Cheyenne. And then we'd have the Denver connection, which is what Rock Springs apparently needs. So, track construction. Let's go in here and do our thing. So, we need a split. I guess technically speaking, just one split alone should do it, right? Yeah. And, oh, where are you going through that side? No, don't, don't go through the city, dude. Don't go through the city, that's silly. Okay, so we connected right now this way. It'll be 162,000, but it's a lot better than the 200s I've been seeing. So we'll do that. Confirm it. And now, what's up with my boy over here? Oh, you were just paused. Now, because you're kind of rolling solo... Actually, no, you could get some... You could get some checkups over here in Giant because we do have a construction upgrade over there. So now what we need to do is, not a new train, but we need to set up that connection, right? So set up rail line from Denver off to Cheyenne. Good. Now that we have that connection over here, we could do Rock Springs to Cheyenne, and then that should allow me now, I imagine, to set up that train station, perhaps, right? If you allow me to... There you go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. So there's a train station right there. And now let's go into this. And that's going to be kind of a... Kind of a bit of a situation over here to connect that. Oh, this is kind of where I wanted the bigger one, huh? But we can still connect through here. It does seem to probably cost a lot of money, but it's fine. How much is that? Oh! Yeah, it's a lot. That's a lot. So I'm going to imagine... What I could do, maybe, is connect from here to Casper, and then from Casper to Rock Springs. That might be a bit cheaper. Let's find out. You got all these railroad tracks anyway, so it should work out, right? So... You to Casper, although Casper's gonna need a train station now. 70,000. Yeah, so we could do a connection to Casper there and there. That's the way to kind of do that one. Alright, so I'm really, I'm really out of time for this one. I'm going to have to edit this video down because this is actually a very long recording. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Railway Empire. If you want to see a bit more of this, do let me know and I'm down to do so. I still need to kind of figure out what the train setups over here. I need to get a couple more trains to speed things up. But things are going pretty good. It's not bad. I kind of really like it. We'll see if we can play some more. You let me know. I will catch you next time.